this is the one that we're all going to be looking to trade tomorrow or those of us who do trade currencies. So I thought we'll have a quick look at this <coughs> and what's key in it. Looking at your candlestick charts, I don't know how, I've just pulled up a profile there, we'll get rid of that. Um, looking at your candlestick charts, what we've got up here is we've got this sort of, this little area from 110 up to 110.88, which is, again is capped by this 200 moving average. And recently, any moves up here have all been rejected. You can see it on these few candles. We've, as we push down, these all rejected. We've had a couple of moves up this week that again have been rejected. So for the time being, we're seeing this area doesn't seem to be able to hold. The big question is though, can the sellers actually push it any lower? We, we got down towards 108.28. This coincided very nicely with these couple of lows over here, um, around 108.21s and 108.25s. So we've sort of drifted into this high volume area. This I expected to trade straight through. We struggled at it, we held and bounced. Everyone who's getting short on these rejections really needs to see this go. If this doesn't go, then you, again, you're gonna see this sort of sticky trade whereby it doesn't go and people start to take profit feeling that these rejection candles are wrong. As well as this, if you look to the upside, and this is where I think there could be a little bit of a clearer move, you've had a lot of rejection here and no result from it. So they've not got the move lower. We sort of, we got it a little bit, but it again bounced to rejection. If it doesn't go, you know, they're not getting the move at the moment. If we start moving up here above um, 110.88, above this 200 moving average at 110.81s, then I think you've got quite a good scope to take out all of these previous little highs here. That it's all a one time frame and move down. I'd be looking for them all to go in quite quick succession. I wouldn't be looking at any of these as resistance areas. I would be seeing them all as targets and potential to actually be pyramiding on the breaks of each of them and looking up towards this gap which comes in at 1264s. So that's what I'd be looking for on this move higher. If well, if you do get a move higher, lower, looking for a break of 28, and then you're looking down towards 10728. And then you've got this couple of highs which come in over here at 108, well, sorry, at 10668. So everything ending with an eight at the moment, but they're going to be the targets if we do start coming lower. Key is going to be the break of this low though. Whereas to the upside, I do feel the move could be a little bit, a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier. So let's go and have a quick look at a couple of profiles for the euro. See what if that can give us a little bit of a hand. So <clears throat> this is what we got on a weekly. On the weekly, you've got last week value dipped lower. So you know this is looking pretty bearish on the week. Um, but towards the end of the week, we then got this push right the way up higher and we closed higher on the week. Now, at the moment, until we can actually get into this value area, you've got to be thinking of terms of all of this trade down here has now been caught. They're caught short, value is clearly lower, trade's happy to be down there and that everyone is now caught in this area. We tested back to the value area high, the midpoint, this previous close and we've managed to hold it as well. It's a little bit of a poor low, it's done on a double TPO here, so a little bit questionable in the low. But whilst value remains above here, you've got to be thinking in terms of can we actually shift any higher? And in terms of moving higher, we're back to that old area, this 110, 85s, 88s as well. It's another weekly value area low. And if we start moving through this, all these little low bits of volume here have been traded out. I do think that above 108.88, we trade straight through. 11.48 is gonna be a bit of a target, this VPOC, as well as the value area high and midpoint, which comes in at, I'll just spread this a little bit for you. Value area high, midpoint comes in at um, 111.59, so, just be mindful that if you are trying to have a go at selling this VPOC, you need at least a 10 tick stop above there. And again, we could be moving on a little bit higher. And you're right the way up towards this close that I mentioned up at 112.64. Um, so they're gonna be your targets to the upside looking at it from a weekly point of view. Coming down 
if we are going to sort of drift lower, what we have got here is a distinct dip in TPOs. Yeah, this has not been particularly balanced. If you look at, say, just this area from where the cursor is here, around 109.10s, this is all very nicely balanced. But from a weekly point of view, it's nicely balanced there. You've then got nothing above. So any dip below here into value, I'd be looking for a bit of time spent just around this area here, maybe down to the VPOC. So 108.70s up to 109.40s, that's going to be quite a key area. I think we could end up with a fair bit of time spent in this area, particularly if the ECB doesn't do a great deal in terms of um, change of policy that may end up keeping us just there. I, I say a great deal. I think what they need to do is they need to do something, but not tons so that the market doesn't react too much. It's going to be a fine line for the ECB to tread, but we're not into a policy setting um, piece here. So we'll leave that for tomorrow. So that's what I'd be looking for from a weekly. Going on to the dailies, let's see what this brings up for us. We've clearly shifted higher. This is what we had. Um, I mentioned this maybe last week, maybe the week before, no, it would have been last week, that what we got is at these lows, it was running out of um, conviction. See, value is very much overlapping, whereas this move down before, you got a clear break of value, value shifted lower, value shifted lower again, and then it started to run out. So this overlapping value does make you think, it, it's not changing the sentiment. Now, it's still bearish at this point, but what it is saying is once value shifts away from this area, that's going to determine the move. The value shift was up, um, and you've left these single prints at 108.90, which again, as I mentioned, those 108.70, that weekly BPOC, could end up stopping at 108.90 just before it. If we do, it could be 108.90s, a dip to the BPOC, and then bounce and fill this low volume in here. But that's for or, you know the case if we do move down. So we got this move higher, value shifted up, shifted up again, and then what we're seeing is this quite typical pre-ECB type trade where you see value shifts one way, shifts back, shifts back. You get in today, sensibly, you're seeing this TPO area filled out. So at the moment, I, I'm not sort of thinking in terms of we're gonna see a great deal today. And I do feel that we're gonna continue seeing this balancing out. I'd be a little bit surprised if we do dip much into last week's value um, today. If we do, then first point of call, I'd just be looking at this, this little VPOC which comes in around 109.29s. Just watch out for that. It could be that we dip there and then bounce back out. Um, <clears throat> so in terms of what we're actually looking for, if we start to get a bit of a move on, I mentioned to the downside those 108.90s. Beyond there, there's not a great deal. This is all quite well traded. And then you've got that key 108.28s. We keep going a little bit further back from there. You can see where those 108, 21, 25s come from. There's not a great deal below that. And you, you can see that these lows all look reasonably susceptible, that they're all quite well bunched together. So I think there's 107, um, this low is 0789s. That could very well go quite quickly. And you then led right the way down to these couple of VPOCs which come in at 64 and down here at 60. I think it might be 59 in fact. That's coming in at 60. So 64 and 60 is going to be a little bit of a key area. But again, you've then got essentially this double bottom. I'd expect that to go if we have managed to get this far down. And then I'd be looking right the way down to just keep in mind this little value area low at 107.10 before you get to the top of this range area which comes in at those 106.68s. That, I do think, should be a decent buy. Make sure your stops are below the bottom of these single prints at 106.50, though. And going to the upside. Let's squeeze this up a bit for you. If we do start moving higher, <clears throat> we're basically back through this area anyway, so it's these 108s. Um, 110.88 is a key, and this is that one time frame in phase that I was talking about, and I expect all of these highs to go in quick succession. Maybe you've got a little argument that this high up here at 111.50s um, could hold, 
because it was a previous value area high. I don't really like that though, so I would expect them all to go in sequence and it will perhaps give you a chance to pyramid each of them until you get right the way up to this previous high, um, which comes in at 112.49. That was That's a weekly reference as well to this VPOC and then 112.64. So they're going to be your targets on any sort of extended large move for the euro.